Good morning, we're here at the beautiful test kitchen at Indian Hills Community College. I'm here with Chef Gordon Rader and Scott from Hy-Vee, and I'm a little nervous about today. We're making alligator, and I thought they were kidding when they said that. <laughs> I've never had alligator. So Scott, tell me, um, are people buying, you know, yeah, over the last couple of years, we've started to sell a lot of, we actually stock this now in the store, and actually we have it in our, our ad this week. Um, it's packaged like this is twelve ninety nine a pound, and uh, it's good for Lent. We, uh, we sell a lot of it, and people like to grill it and have a lot of different things, but we're going to show some different things to do here. Um, the good thing about alligator is, is it, it's very healthy for you. It has, uh, that, a four ounce portion has uh, 110 calories and only, really? two, only two grams of fat, and only 15% of the ca uh, protein or the calories actually come from fat. Wow, and you're, uh, you just mentioned lint, so is this uh, a meat or a no? Well, because it's uh, cold-blooded, it's considered, it's not considered meat, so it can be eaten for lint. So this is perfect. You might as well, you know, start expanding your um, cuisine. Why not uh, during and, lint? And today's Ash Wednesday, so. So uh, prepare yourself some alligator like we're doing this morning. Um, so what, what is this good to pair with? Uh, we're going to pair it with, with beer today. Uh, we had, a, we had a, a dark and a light beer for the different ways we're going to prepare it. Perfect. Thank you for bringing the beer for me. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So how are we going to, what are we going to be doing to prepare it? We're going to do two different preparations. And you see this a lot in the South. So, but we're going to fry one with a little batter, a beer batter. And then we're going to blacken another piece. So you've got two contrasts. The light beer goes well with the fried and the darker lager goes great with the blackened. Okay, so um, what's over here? So what we've got is some blackened seasoning. And I just like to pick up some Paul Prudhomme's too, and you can find this at Hy-Vee. Or you can make your own, and it's a mix of paprika and salt and okay. pepper and different spices. Sacherets, Tony Sacherets is great too, and there's Louisiana. And then the batter is basically consists of flour, baking powder, a little bit of beer, and then some Cajun seasoning as well. I'm quite excited. <laughs> this is really good. It's very high in protein. Yep. Almost 100% of your daily allowance in one four ounce portion of this. Wow, okay. Um, so perfect, when we get back, we are gonna fry them up. Absolutely. And we will be right back. Welcome back again. We're here at Indian Hills Community College's Test Kitchen and we're making alligator today and now it's time to uh, to Fry these gators up. Okay. They call them gators, and you know. Sure, it sounds kind of like ghetto, gator ghetto, right? <laughs> That's good. Look, we've got we've got two things set up, and again, the black and Cajun seasoning. And you could do your own mix if you wanted to. I think that works just well. Some people. Okay. You can find the recipes on the web. They're everywhere on the web. Uh, Sacherets is great, and so is Paul Prudhomme. We're just gonna dust these. Are these like alligator fingers, like chicken fingers? Right, exactly. You well, know, not the fingers per se, but you know, <laughs> I didn't know the chicken had fingers either. But <laughs> this is all tail meat. This is yeah, a tail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. So it's all tail meat. It's mm -hmm. not. Yep. Tail meat. Okay. Right. So now we've got also the batter, and again, this is just a straight beer batter, and I put some Cajun seasoning in them. So now we're gonna move over to our very hot oil, 350 degrees. Okay. Don't stick your finger in it to tell. You can get a thermometer <laughs> or, you know, you can just cook a lot and you'll know how things work. And again, just a little light batter on it. You don't want to overcoat it. You see how hot that is? You know that's hot when it's doing that. Okay. We've also got a saute pan on. Okay. At the same time because we're going to move over and use our blackened pieces. I've got just a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. Okay, we're going to go right in. Oh, I, sizzle. yeah, those sizzling. Yeah. Those sizzling noises. And this smells really good too. So what is it uh, similar to in taste? Uh, chicken to pork. You know, I think that some people say it tastes texturally pork, but chicken, everything tastes like chicken, right? right. Um, but I don't think it has much We're of a flavor. Find out. <laughs> I don't think it has that much flavor, really. Now you see how quickly this is frying up? Oh, yeah, that is really fast. Okay. And again, if the flames start leaping off the top of your oil, you've probably got the, the fire too high. So you want to be sure you adjust it. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is wait for this to caramelize on the outside. And when we come back, we'll plate this up for you. Be sure that you've got a towel so that you can pull these out and drain them really well. This adds about, with the batter, it adds about just 177 calories per four ounce serving here if you're okay. interested. That's worth it. That's just like yeah. a few more crunches. Healthy. It's still very healthy. Yeah. Okay. So you, well, perfect. We're going to let all this stuff uh, cook and fry up. And when we come back, we're going to try alligator for the first time. Ella, I'm going to send it back to you. Welcome back. Again, we're here at Indian Hills Community College's Test Kitchen, and it's time to try the alligator. Uh -huh. Let me go ahead and pull these off the, the line here. And again, when you're working with hot oil, please be very careful. I like the fry daddies and those pots that you actually have a cover on top of them. Okay. 
We've got kids around the house. I mean, it's so easy to burn them. I do have the pan right next to me. Yeah, <laughs> just as close as I can get to you, right? So, once those come out of the oil, all right, we're going to just okay. move this over. A little bit of salt, okay? Anything that's fried, I like to hit it with a little bit of salt as it comes out. Okay. Okay, we can go right to the plate with this. And again, here's our blackened. I've got a little bit of lemon and the remoulade sauce. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take these guys. And this is a beer batter, so it tends to soften up really quick. If you want it crisper, okay? Okay. Not quite so much beer. Just oh, like... We, we like the beers. I know, so beer. we'll put more beer on it. Okay. So there you go. And look at that, that nice garnish. Awesome. A little bit of lemon juice. So, so you can you... Oh, okay, yeah. Time to try it. Yep. Which one should I start with first? Uh, why don't you try the fried first? That way, because this is going to be spicy a little bit. Okay. A little spicy. I think this is very, very good. And it looks appetizing, too. Oh, very good. Yeah, it's right. not... Uh, first time eating an alligator. Because you can virtually fry anything, you know. I and like it. And always this is nice, nice crispy taste. I really like it. Does it taste like chicken? Kind of, well, I don't really know. I can't really describe it. It's a soft texture, but yet it, it reminds me of pork sometimes too. So in between pork and maybe veal and, and chicken. But it doesn't have a huge amount of flavor to it, I think. So it takes on whatever you cook it with, which is kind of neat. I really like it. Good. Wow. What about the black one? <laughs> hmm? All right, I'll use a fork for this one. Scott brought some beers in too. Now that's not for we're us. We're cracking those open, right? No, that's <laughs> not for us. Every week it's the same with this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. That's great. Yeah, she always takes a small bite just mm. to make sure. Real nice smoky, okay, from the black and see the mm. paprika, the thyme, the uh, chili powder. That's really good. Oregan. You like that? You like it better than this? Different. If okay. I want to be healthy, maybe that one. Yeah. <laughs> but I like both of them. <laughs> okay. It's a fun piece to try at home and again get the kids to cook with you. you right. Know. Um, so Scott, you know, if people have ideas about what you know they want to see cooked on the show, how can they? Uh, well, get if, they go, if they go to our North Ottumwa, um Facebook page and they can leave us suggestions, or they can email me at my email account at work and that is uh, hmm. 1505 Meet MGR at High V dot com. Perfect. And we'll do anything they want us to do. All right, there you go. So whatever you guys want to see us cook, or them, they, see them You're cook. You're going to be cooking next week. What do you think about that? See me try, I guess. Yeah. No, we'd love to hear from the folks. It'd be nice. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Tried alligator for the first time. Who knew? I didn't know. Fun, right? All right, we're going to send it back to you.